Good morning, students. Previous class I explained the new letter. I hope you learned that new letter. Okay. Today I am going to explain workbook second lesson books. So everyone, open your workbook page number seven. Workbook page number seven, open now. So may you have seen blanks here. The second page, fill in the blanks. So already explained in the textbook. Look at your first hand. SH dash a print with a set of three small dolls. So, when you have find the answer here, first I write SH dash a print. The dog thing small dog. So here on the side two. Let's go see. Mouth. So these are the clues given here. So look at here the first line. S H dash a prince with a set of three small dolls. So in the beginning of the lesson we have this answer. So in the beginning of the lesson what happened? The king presented. The king presented a set uh, a prince with a set of three small dolls. Can you guess where is the present written here? So let's see. Pick it up. Present it. Sing and mouth. So the first blank answer is present it. Okay, right here. Second blank. The sage handed the print. The sage handed. The prince with a with a dash. So after giving three dolls, after presenting three dolls, and the same again giving something to the uh, prince. What is that? Here it is presently picked up, presented, sing and mouth. So which is the correct option? Already present and completed here. Okay, that is completed. The remaining four options is either. So which is the correct option? String after handing, uh, after giving presented three dolls, he has given one of the string. Okay. So here, string is the correct answer. Now, third blank. The string of the second doll. The string of the second doll. Came out from dash. So when the king put the uh, string into the ear of the second doll, so it came from 
dash. So, already this answer also completed. We have only three options here. Press for the pick it up. Mouth. So, the string come out from mouth. Mouth is the correct option. The correct answer. Fourth then. The print. Dash. The. Third does. Third does. And we get. The process. So after taking the third does, the king repeated, the prince repeated the same process. What is that? After picking the print, after picking up the third up. So, answer is pick it up. Pick it up. Right here, pick it up. To be dash a man you must know everything. So, we need only one answer left. Already, this is complicated. That is trustworthy. To be trustworthy, man. To be trustworthy. Man. Must know everything. Okay, right. Right, those lines. The same line you have in your textbook. You should write answers in your textbook first. Okay. After completion of that, turn the page, page number eight. Take it first. Okay, now the second page. True or false? Same thing with the following statements are true or false. A stage. Present case. The break. Okay. 
in the job. Three dollars. So here, it is a statement is not for we have to say. What is that? A say presented the face. A set of three dolls. After writing, I will explain. Okay. First, you write this. The prince was. Was so happy with the sales gift The spring came out from the other. Here of the first day. The thing came out from the mouth. Of the third girl. Fifth one. The string never came. The best type of a person a person is a trustworthy man. Okay, you get here. The first one, the other two are false. Here, given statement, so you have to find out that whether it is a true or false. Okay, first sentence a set presented the prince a set of three dolls. So, how many dolls the set presented the prince? Three dolls. A 
instead of three dollars. So now the first statement is true or false? It's true. Only. Okay. You should write C. Next. The prince was so happy with the sage's gift. So when the sage presented the three dolls to the prince, uh, whether he is happy or not, is he happy? The sentence is telling about the sage's gift. Was the was prince was very happy when receiving the gift, when receiving the sage's gift of three dolls. So is the statement true or false? No, he is not happy. He also said that Yame girls to receive those dolls. He asked the question. So that's why we can understand that the the prince was not happy with the sage gift. But in the sentence given, the prince was so happy with the sage gift. So now tell me which is uh, whether it is a true or false. So the given statement is false. Why? Because the prince was not happy with the sage gift. But the sentence is telling that the sage was uh, the prince was so happy with the sage gift. So it is a false statement. Okay, right here. Here yeah, for the false statement. Now go to third blank. Sorry, fourth to the wrong one. The string came out from the other ear of the first dog. So when the uh, prince when the prince put another string. Is the first one one year. So thread that means string. Where uh, where it is coming outside, whether mouth or ear, or it never came. The first dog. May you remember the story? But the first dog, the string came out from the other ear. So the statement also statement also telling that the string came out from the other ear. The string came out from the other ear of the first dog. So the given statement is. True. Next, the string came out from the mouth of the third dog. The first dog, the string came out from the ear, and for the second dog, the string came out from the mouth. Okay. Here, the third, third dog, the string came out from the mouth of the third dog. Given. So, whether it is true or false. The string came out from the second, uh, from the mouth for the second dog, not the third dog. But in the statement given, the string came out from the mouth of the third dog. So, whether the statement is true or false? Actually, the string came out from the second dog, came out from the mouth of the second dog. But in our sentence, in this sentence given, uh, it is telling that the string came out from the mouth. Of the third dog, so it is a false statement. Okay, right here. Next sentence: The string never came out from the third dog. Third or fourth? Sorry, fourth dog. It is not third dog. Fourth. Okay, the string never came out from the fourth dog. So, for the third dog, the string did not come outside. But here, given the the string never come out from the fourth dog. Actually, fourth dog, what happened when the prince put first time? It came from the ear. When he put second time, it came from the mouth. When the prince put uh, the third time, it never come out. For the third, fourth dog. It happens. Three things happen in the fourth dog. But in our sentence, given that the string never came out from the fourth dog, this happened in the third dog, not the fourth dog. So the given statement is false. Okay. Next, the best type of a person is a trustworthy man. Am I correct? This sentence is telling that the best type of a person is a trustworthy person. So the sixth statement is true.
Maybe first. Very fast today. Right first, mom, go face me again. Sit right, children. Shall I get the first sentence? Third which? Write the opposite to the following. Write the opposite to the following. First one, three. Okay, please. Up here. Never. Best. Excellent. Answer. Silence. Have you written children? Okay. 
you complete this lesson here? So here, some words given us. We have to write opposite words. Opposite words to the given words. So what is the opposite of friends? What is the opposite of friends? Who is the friends? Friends means the son of a king. Okay. Prince means son of a king. So son. So what is the opposite of daughter? Daughter of a king. So what we call the daughter of a king? Son of a king we can call prince. Daughter of a king we can call princess. So, so here the opposite of prince is princess. Okay. Next, careful. Careful means taking care. So, what is the opposite of careful? Tell me. Careless. Opposite of careful is careless. Appear. Appear means to uh, able to see. Appear means able to see. So, if you are not able to see, what we call that? This appear. We should add this to the appear. This appear. Never. Never means it will not happen uh, in the future also. It will not happen. So, what is the opposite of never? Ever. Okay. Ever means always. Best. Best opposite, worst. Okay. Next. Answer. So, what is the opposite of answer? Question. Silent opposite, noisy. Noisy. Right for students, time is over. Right first. Okay, I hope you understand today's session. Tomorrow I will explain natural following and uh, missing letters. Okay? Till then we learn these opposite words. Okay? Thank you.